here, this this function gets called whenever a, a projectile lands, and it has a parameter called info. And out of that info, let, we'll get the entity, which happens to be the arrow entity. And then what we want to know about the arrow is where it is. So then we get the arrow's location, and that's what we ultimately want, is the location that the arrow landed. And we do something else that's interesting here, is we switch toggle whatever toggle was before to not toggle. And if you remember from the first video, toggle starts out as true. So if toggle becomes not toggle, it means we take whatever toggle was before and we not it. And what that means for the value true is it becomes false. Then we say if toggle which is false, so we end up in this branch. So if toggle, false, we end up here in the else, and we make a portal out of obsidian, and we set the black portal's location to wherever the arrow landed. And the next time an arrow lands, we'll do all the same stuff, but toggle will be false, so then when we set toggle to not toggle, it becomes true again. So then when we do this if statement, toggle is true, and we end up in the true branch, which is here. So we make a portal out of brick, and we set the red portal's location. And this is just a nice trick. You see this a lot in programming. When you want to switch between two things happening, you can use a toggle variable plus an if statement, and that will switch between the two branches of the if statement. So we'll always make a black portal, then a red portal, then a black portal, then a red portal, and so on. In the next video, we'll just talk a little bit about how we build the portal. We'll look at this portal function.